So this is leaking. And when I say this, I mean my bifold doors. And it's not that bad, but I need a small win. So I'm gonna fix it. I'll start inside to show you exactly where it was, or is rather. I was hoping it will absolutely fuck it down with rain, but it hasn't for the past couple of days, so it's around here. It isn't that bad at all. It's only like a, a damp patch. If I was a tradesman, I'd probably cover it up, but because this is my ass, I'm not gonna do that. You will notice there's green tape and there's packers just there. So I think it's getting through the seal fixing and maybe I didn't get enough silicon on it when I done it. In this house, there's two types of doors. There's opening in and there's opening out. So these ones are opening in. I'll show you a set of opening out over here. Triple bifold, opening out. Now you will notice just down here, you see the black seal there. So that's where it stops. I've still got a drainage track there with the drainage holes. But by the time these doors close, because you've got this edge here, see that? If any rain comes down, it just runs on the outside and there's very, very little chance of any water actually getting into that drainage channel. So with this manufacturer, there's two different types of seals, depending on whether they're opening in, opening out. Mine were a special order because I wanted 175 width. And the opening in ones, the seals at least, wasn't quite right. Just to show you the difference, this door here, you see that high edge, obviously that's on the opposite side. By the time you close the door, now even though you've got this like kind of drip edge here, it doesn't extend quite far enough to get over that door and you've still got these little gaps here. That's the rubber seal. It still, it lets through a little tiny bit of water. On the entrance door, it's not too much of an issue because I've got this big overhang over here. But on this side, obviously I haven't got overhang. The amount of water that collects in that track is quite a lot, especially if it absolutely fucks it down. So the water ends up in the track, needs to get through into the sill and then should come out the bottom in these drainage holes. There's one there. And the way this seal was manufactured, it doesn't suit these frames. So I had to adapt the actual um, seal itself and I had to make these little slots to get the water through. That is like a T shape, okay? So because the water will go into here, it needs to get over to here. So what I need to do is basically make holes or slots from this side over to this side. That was my resolve, otherwise the water would have just got trapped inside. If you are ordering doors in the future, I would say it's better to get the ones that open out rather than in, because then you don't risk any water damage. The only reason why I got these ones opening in instead of out is because we're having a decking area here, so I didn't want them to just take up too much room. Now, if I possibly can, I need to confirm exactly how this leak is occurring. So this is the problem corner. That fixing is roughly about here. Now you can see that I've used the expanding foam tape around here. And then from there, I've used the backing rod and then silicon. So it's not coming from underneath. There's no gaps there or anything. This end cap isn't quite on. And then there might be the tiniest bit of gap there. But it doesn't particularly matter that the water gets in the seal. It just needs to go out the right way and not down through the fixing into the wall. This screw here fixes the frame to the sill. Now I might not have sealed underneath there, so it might be draining all the way through into this, or it's the concrete screw that fixes the sill down to the threshold basically, which is about here. So I've I'm gonna pour some water down just to check exactly where it's coming through. I might have to drill this out so I can get the, the concrete screw out and then reseal it. Do you know what amazes me? I've seen on Facebook in the self-build groups, there's quite a few posts of people saying, oh, my doors or my windows are leaking, what do I do? And they send this stupid little picture. And I always think, well, if you fitted them yourself, you'd have half chance of fixing it. There you go. So that works.
Okay, assessment. Um, ignore that, I just dripped some there by mistake. The wind blew it. I've got no damp patches around here. I have poured maybe like 12 litres through that. So in terms of process of elimination, it's not that. Now is it this edge bit here? In theory, this is fine because the other side is fine. But down here, I'm not sure it's my sealant because that looks pretty all right. The only thing that looks dodgy is this end cap because there's a gap down here. Now I didn't do the end cap, they come like this. I wish I would have had the opportunity to do the end caps properly. I did do it again on a few of them. If I can find a shot of this, I did roll the um, damp course up here. Now, if the water gets through this gap and goes all the way through, it can't come out the front because of the sealant, in which case the only way it can go is backwards. I'm not sure if you'll see it, but obviously the damp course is forced down by these packers where it's rolled up many other places. So maybe the water is getting in to the damp course and then it just rolls down and then it soaks through there. Let's start testing that theory then. There we go. So I've got that bit coming through there and that corner over there. For a second there, I didn't think I was going to be able to recreate it because that, that took about three, three litres before it showed up. So yeah, uh, I'll let that dry out and then we'll fix it. Can you see that? There's loads of, is it mosquito season? You, you'll see this in a couple of days. Anyway, have you got loads of mosquitoes around you? Oh, last night, so I sealed it all up. Oh, uh, I didn't go crazy with it, but today we're gonna test it out. Okay, let's go. Okay, the moment of truth. Ta-da, salted. If you've got a leak, let's get it. Tilly. Come on, Tilly. Hello. Hello, Puss Puss. 